Hi, and welcome to another look at what's new in Visual Studio Team Services. I'm Alex Nichols, a PM on the VSTS team. And with me, I have Gopi. Gopi, uh, tell the audience uh, what, what you do for the team. So I'm the GPM. I'm the GPM for Visual Studio Release Management. Okay. Anything to do with the CD solutions, or the DevOps projects, or Azure deployments is what I work on. Great, great. Yeah, well, we've got some new features here uh, in this release. So. Uh, we'll, we'll walk through, through together a few of the new features in Sprint 134 update, uh, which is rolled out in uh, May of 2018. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. OK, so if I just uh, take a look at the headliner here, it's, it's all about uh, AKS support and DevOps projects. So uh, we'll talk about a little bit about that in a, in a moment. But I'll, I'll jump down here uh, past the intro to our feature list and just walk through a few of the things by area here. We've got. Uh, some new 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 feature in queries around around uh, empty rich text fields and, and, and querying those. Over in build, we've got we've got some better support for Ruby, Python, Java. So I'll I'll show that in, in a little bit here. Over in release, we've got uh, got generally available release gates. Yes, that's, that's a big milestone. Yes. And then uh, so some more more support for for DevOps project I mentioned. Azure Stack support for your hybrid applications. And then over in package management, we've got a few few things to control your notifications. You can follow a package now. Uh, over in tests, we're, we're bringing some of that consistent uh, filtering controls over across the product like we've seen primarily in work and dashboard so far. Uh, and then over in wiki, uh, when you're working with, with wiki pages, sometimes you want to move them. You don't want to break things. So now we've automated that process of uh, fixing the broken links when you move pages, not only in, in wiki pages, but also in work items. Uh, so, uh, Gopi, I want to jump over to this, uh, this, this first one over in build, and then, and then we'll talk about the DevOps projects. So here I've opened up a, a new uh, build definition. This one's for Python. And you'll notice here that um, we've got this Python task linked to a variable. It's important when you're working with your app uh, that the version that's on your, your dev machine is the same that you're working with on your build system so it doesn't break. Yeah. Um, so th this is a good one here to, to keep in mind and go check out to just eliminate that from, from your, your workflow. Uh, OK, so let's talk about release for a second. So um, I'm just going to open up the DevOps projects. We've got, got lots of applications here, select.NET, .NET Core. We get, get several options here for the different services. So um, I'll just, just switch over to a video here for us. Um, so, just tell me a little bit about you know what what we're doing with with DevOps projects and maybe why why are we seeing some of the services here and, and why these? So, you know, I think the reason we started DevOps projects is how can we onboard the customers who are currently on on-prem to cloud more easily. Okay. So, one of the key points that they want to know is when they are onboarding onto the cloud, they want to have a service with an application. It can be their application or it can be sample application up and running so that they can check it out. Sure. That's the key value prop of DevOps projects. In fact, you know, as part of this, we actually try to set it up with all the best practices, which includes even monitoring like app insights configured and then the CI CD pipeline configured. So at the end of the day, you can just clone your code repo, start working. Right. That's what we would like to start. Right. Now we ask the second question. The second question is about how do we choose the services, which services we go after, sure. right? I think the web app is the first one that we went with. Right. And then the VM is the next one that you know we have done few things about the VM. The next biggest thing that we just announced in the build conference and with 134 yep. deployment is Kubernetes service. Okay. Kubernetes in, uh, in the container, uh, everybody would like to move to containers. And then containers is becoming super hard and containers mm. makes it super easy for people to take their developer artifacts and then push it into the cloud and then keep it running. But if you want to set it up for people who do not understand all the containers concepts, and then you know you want to you know start with Kubernetes, it is super hard. Now you can actually achieve it with DevOps projects, where by just choosing that Kubernetes service, we will do the heavy lifting. We will mm. take a sample application. We will also create all the assets that are needed for you. Those assets can be the YAML files with respect to the service and deployment spec files. We will also create the Helm charts that are needed. Mm. And we will set up a working solution for you so that you can just build it up from there. So yeah. in our first version, we supported for ASP.NET Core, Java, Node.js. So for all these three, you will see a Kubernetes service in that. Okay. Great. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, maybe uh, is there this is this is one piece where we've started supporting some of the container work. 
Well, what's some of the other things maybe in release management where we've started to, if I'm, if I'm heavy into containers, I want to get, get going, what are some other things that I could go check out? So you know, the, purely from the containers, so, you know, this is the easier way for you to get started, yeah. but from the VSTS, you will get more power. Okay. Yeah. Right from the VSTS, you know, we have you know, templates that are there available for containers. And it's not just for Azure, you can actually target any Kubernetes cluster. The right. Kubernetes cluster can be running in AWS, it can be running in Google Cloud, or it, you can you know, set up the cluster on your on-prem and then target it. Yeah, any so platform. That, any yeah. platform that's completely you know, supported if you, if you go with VSTS Great. perspective. Great. Okay. Great, well, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there. Uh, Gopi, appreciate your, uh, appreciate your thoughts there. Uh, just, just hopping over to the Back to the release notes, you know, go ahead and check those out uh, for more detail. Uh, and, and remember that, that VSTS is, is one way that you can really simplify your move to DevOps, as we were saying. You, you got, got the latest technology there. I think one point I just want everybody to you know, remember, VSTS, the vision we are going with, any platform, any language. Yeah. So you can, you can be a Java, you can be a Node.js, we will support you. That's the key part that I want you to remember. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Gopi, Thank and you. appreciate appreciate you watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe for for more videos like this.